traffic. Right. If there was someone at the Emad doing a, a right hand turn, they'd be coming towards us. And also... Would it be safer if I stayed further to the left? Then? And you don't want to stay further to the left oh, either, right. because that will that will be telling cars behind us that we might have accidentally put a right indicator on and we were actually planning to go left, which therefore they would actually come beside us and we'd both be going into the same direction. Oh, I never thought of that. Yeah. yeah, that's very important as well. Yeah? So, that's why it's important. Yeah, so, now that you've pulled me over, you, you can just fill in a couple of blanks. So on the approach there, we check the middle mirror. Yep. We check that for distance and speed. Yep. We check the right mirror. We're checking to see if anybody's overtaken us. Yep. If they were overtaking us, we'd let them go. Yep. Because if we didn't, we'd have them alongside us and it could force them into the path of a car turning into the into the road and it's gonna be a head on collision, yeah? Okay. Um we indicated about six or seven car lengths away. Yeah. Why? Uh, we indicated about six to seven car lengths away because we were letting the people behind us know what we intend to do. Um, there might not always be a case where you can indicate six so or seven car lengths away. Just go back to the six, seven car lengths away okay. to give people time to, to react. To react, yeah. So we're indicating six to seven car lengths away because we've given other road users plenty of time to react. Good. And you were going to say? And, and it might not always be the case All right. where we can uh, signal six to seven car lengths because there might be driveways or a road going into there. I wouldn't wear driveways because uh, there's going to be driveways everywhere. Isn't there? Okay. Uh, because there might be a, a left right hand turn and people might think we're actually going into that turn as opposed to doing an image and the consequence of that would be the consequences of that may be that the person behind us might try undertaking us so going beside us and going ahead of us but when really we actually are going straight ahead or the person waiting to come out of that turning or the person waiting to come out of that turning might just turn out thinking that we were going to go there and what would be the consequences of uh, that? consequences of that would be We'd obviously have a collision with them. We could hear each other, yeah. So, you've now actually filled in the blanks on the mirrors. Yeah. For the right hand turn. Yeah. The signal. Yeah. 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 The position for the um, left to centre. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which I have done before. Yeah. And you could just, while we're sitting there, say, and if we were turning left, Tony, we would check the middle mirror for distance and speed. Mm -hmm. And we'd check the left hand door mirror for any cyclists. Yeah. If there was a cyclist already coming down the inside of us, we wouldn't pop our indicator on because we fight the cyclist and he'd probably fall off and yeah. fall underneath the car and we kill him. Okay. Or if the cyclist is there and the indicator is running, I certainly wouldn't turn in front of the cyclist because I would squash him. Yeah? So now you can go into prompt mode on the mirrors and the signal mm -hmm. and the position from left to centre. That makes sense? Yeah. Do I, do, do I get to kind of cheat a little bit and say to him, when you did your left and right turns, did you have, a, um, when you were turning right, did you have a reference point and sort of, sort of prompt him on it if he had? And if he says, no, I didn't, then I guess I'd do the whole thing where I get him a left and centre. Because aren't we sort it's, of... It's not, actually, it's, it's not actually cheating. Hmm. They are actually trying to encourage you to make... Yeah, to sort of... Make mixed, links, make yeah. links of what they've done before. Mm -hmm. But because you weren't here last week when they've done the left and right hand turns, that's why when you asked me questions at the beginning about the about the MSM routine, yeah. my answers were a little bit vague. Okay. That's just a bit of a lifeline to tell you that don't expect me to know okay. until I've heard you talk me yeah. through it, yeah? yeah. But but once I've heard you talk me through what mirrors to check, when to signal, mm -hmm. and what position to take for left to centre, yeah. then a prompt would be good enough, yeah? Okay. So as we're coming up to the next one now, and I say we're going to turn right or we're going to turn left, what, what mirrors are you going to check? Okay. Then all you need to do is to make sure that I do check them. Okay. Right? Yeah. Yeah? That makes sense? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And we're going to take the next turning to the left. And I'd like you to turn left. So again, we're, again, we're talking about this identification. Yep. So Tony, we're gonna we're still looking out for these emerges. Uh, we'll be looking for houses facing our way, cars going different directions, and might be fields facing towards us. Yeah, because I noticed last week when I was doing these left and right hand turns, mm -hmm. I was able to spot some of them by cars popping out in front of me, or even cars turning into them. 
Yeah, so that's one way of identifying him. And end right. And at the end of the road, I'd like you to turn right. So we've got houses facing towards us now, so this is an emerge. Yes, yeah, so what? So what mirrors are you going to check? Uh, middle and right. Okay, so check them. Oh, good girl. Middle and right. Well and pop a signal on. When are you going to signal? When are you can signal? I'll bet now. Okay. And what position and are you going to take? what position are you going to take? I'm going to line that reference point up. Yep. Now you will need to concentrate and get me stopped at the giveaway okay, line there. Okay, and that's the I'd bit like you to w. stop. Cover the break. Cover the break and stop Clutch here. Down. Stop it. too short. Yep. So yeah. what I want you to do is pop it in first gear. So remember that control element is yep. get my foot over that brake. Okay. And then it's just a matter of just getting me to press it. Things are pound coin, things yep. are pound coin here. Yeah? Okay. So it's important, Tony, what, why is it important to, uh, to be in first gear? Why is it important, Tony, to be in first gear? Oh, you said I might stall, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah? So I'd like you to go forward a little bit, edge a little bit forward. A little bit, what does a little bit mean? Um, I like you to edge. <laughs> Um, creep. Creep forward. Um, Until I say stop. All right. Creep forward and stop here. So Tony, that giveaway line, where does it cut into the car? Oh, the same place I did the last time. Yeah. That is your reference point for not encroaching the giveaway line. All right. The reason why it's important not to go over the giveaway line is if there were cars coming from there, we'd be getting them to stop, slow down, or maybe swerve past us. Oh, right. We yep. don't want to do that. If we were too short of the giveaway line, the people behind us, the moment there's no one there, so we're all right, they might actually think that we're stopping, oh, right. or they might yep. overtake us, and yep. therefore we'll be forcing them into oncoming traffic. Good. So that's really important. Right. Now here we've got a car parked here, so we can't actually see. So we're going to be what we're going to be doing is just peeping forward a little bit. We'll be peeping and creeping just to make sure we can actually see what cars are coming. We can actually see them through the windows of that car. So oh, right. right at the moment, it's really important to peep and creep and not just go straight out because if there was a car hidden or so, a bicycle hidden in between those. So you haven't got anybody behind you at the moment. Yeah. So if we had a car coming from the right, Tony. If there was a car coming from the right, Tony, um, what we're going to do is we're going to decide whether we can walk across from one side of the pavement to the other and walk back safely. If we can do that, it will be safe to go. The reason why we're walking across The car from is the right? That is the car from the right. Oh, um, we'll walk across because we'll be crossing their path yeah. and we don't want them to stop, swerve or slow down. Good, well done. And we'll be walking back because the if traffic it, coming from the left will be matching their speed on the so right. So if there's a car coming from the left? So if there was a car coming from the left, we need to make sure that we could walk back safely as well. So walk over. So walk over and, and walk, walk back. back. Without making Without that making car. them stop, swerve or slow down. Because we're going into their Because path, we're yeah? going into their yeah? path. Yeah. Yeah. So what I want you to do, what am I doing now? Just have a look at the rest of the junction. See those cars parked on the right? See those cars parked on the right, yeah, so, so it's going to be really important that we make sure the junction is clear because I'm, I'm, I'm going to be a long way away from the curb on this turning, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. And yeah? we've also got to look out for pedestrians, like we can see now. Oh, They're just yeah. walking in the middle yeah. of the world, willy-nilly, without a care in the world. We'll make sure we let him pass. So and normally we wouldn't let pedestrians go. However, in this case, they're on the road, so we, we allow them to go. Um, I want you to be looking right, straight ahead, and left. Right. So look right. So you know you said I never let pedestrians go? Yeah. If the pedestrians are already starting to walk across, is it okay for me just to uh, go and? No. If pedestrians have already started to cross, we let them cross. Oh right, yeah, because they had started to cross. Yeah, they? because they did start to cross. Yeah. However, if they were on the pavement and they had stopped on the pavement, then we just carry on. Oh right, yeah, yeah. Because we don't want to invite them to cross. Oh, I can't wave them. No, you can't wave them because that's what we call misplaced courtesy. Even, even You're though, not doing them a favour. Even though they're my neighbours. Even if they're your neighbours, even if they're your grandchildren, it doesn't matter. No. We don't. Grandchildren? Are you yeah, I just thought I'd say. Right, so, so those cars parked yeah, on that side, yeah, we've got to make yeah, sure. Yeah, I can't see a thing here. Yep. So we're going to peep forward a little bit. So peep. you're going to be, yep, yeah, peep. Oh, I'll sit well back in my seat, don't I? No, you've got to edge forward a little oh, bit in edge. this case. Yep. You've got to put yourself forward a little bit to see. I just keep sticking the car forward. To make your vision know you're going to be going forward in your seat a little oh, bit. My, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Right. So you're going to try moving your car slowly, but make sure that your vision is better. And I want you to, is it clear to go? Right, left. I can't right see anything to the right. Look can't left. see anything to the left. Look right again. I can't see okay. anything. And look in the direction you're oh, going. Right, yeah, what yeah. direction are you going? That right. One. Why'd you put Okay. It's really important to look in the direction you're going. The reason being is because there could be 
vehicles, there could have been a motorcycle that's come a lot quicker than a car would have come and you would have missed it because you're obviously looking in a different direction. Why didn't you say there could be a pedestrian crossing There the could road? be a pedestrian crossing the road, exactly. So it's why it's really important to be looking in the direction you're going. And in the new road? And in the new road, you check your middle mirror for distance yeah. of speed of vehicles behind us. You check your right door mirror for any overtaking vehicles, motorcycles. If there was an overtaking right. vehicle, I'd like you to turn right. If there was an overtaking vehicle, we're going to let them go because we're forcing them into the path of oncoming traffic. Okay, so you've now filled in the blanks on nearly all the bits that I've done last week. Mm -hmm. So it's really now down to just concentrating on the speed on approaching your marriage and the look routine, yeah? Okay. That makes sense? Yep. I've got any money in the bank at the moment. You have? Uh, but not on the emerges to, yep. to a great Just extent, the yeah? mirrors and stuff, yeah. yeah. you've got a little bit of money in the bank on about where I stop, but you need to put a little bit more in before you take it out, yeah? Okay, Tony. Do you, so, do so you remember how we're going to recognise the emerges? Oh, you said something about houses and cars going past? Yeah, so we're, we're just going, going to, to look out for left. those. We're going to turn left here. We're looking out for houses facing us. What else are we looking out for? Uh, cars gone past. Yeah. Or there might not be houses. What else do you think there could be? Well, I guess I, I suppose I'd see that I couldn't go any further, really. Yeah, exactly. I don't want to end up driving off road into a field, do I? That's it. And what are you going to do on approach to the emerge What routine are you going to do? Oh, the MSM routine. Isn't it? Yeah. And why is it important? Which mirror are you going to be checking first? Uh, middle. And why is it important to check the middle? Because that's the uh, true picture job we have. And that's it. So oh, here we're at a merge. And we're going to turn left. And we're going to turn left. So what, what mirror are you going to check first? Oh, middle and left. Okay, so check them. And what, when are you going to put a signal okay, on? Okay, cover the brake. Cover the brake. Brake the signal. 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 Just prepare the car, so we're yeah. prepared to stop and ready to go. Yeah, first so which, gear. Uh, which gear are you going to prepare it first in? Gear. Oh, first gear. And, why, uh, why is it important to get first gear? Why is it important gear? to get first gear again? Oh, I'll stall on it. Yeah. So, where does that curb cut into the car? Which curb? Uh, the first straight curb stall. On which side? On the left, because we're going oh, left. Oh, um, the same place the last time. Yep. Yeah, that's And taxes. where does that. Hang on. Slowly. Why is it important to make sure that we have the correct um, position? Oh, did you say something about, oh my god, too wide? Yep, and what would happen if you were too wide? Do I'll you remember? On the wrong side of the road, wouldn't it? That's it, which could force the cars behind us to... Do you remember? If we were too wide... No, anybody could ride the road, I yep. suppose. I'd, I'd be head on, wouldn't I? Yep, and we don't want them to stop, swerve or something. Something else you said, I couldn't remember. I can't remember. Um, if, if I was too close to the curb... Yep. Probably hit that post, wouldn't I? That's it. And if there were pedestrians, we could probably hit the post and the pedestrians. That's it. Oh. Don't want to be doing that, doing no. that. Yeah. And if we were too wide, obviously we'd be kind of going onto the yeah. other side of the road. And where does the and where does that refer um, the giveaway line cut into the car? Same place the last time. Same. I just need that door mirror. Yep. And do you remember why it's important to make sure we have it at that, and we don't oh, want to go over the road? You said if I'd force vehicles to swerve around. Yep. And if we're too short of it. There's that, a car behind us now, so what are we going to do? Yep, so look right. And do you remember where you can look in left? Left? No, nobody comes yep, to the right. Yep, look to the left. Looking ahead for pedestrians, yep. looking left. Right again. Right. And the direction you're going. What direction are you oh, going? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Remember why it's important to look in the direction oh, yeah, we're going? Oh, yeah, it could be Johnny crossing the road, couldn't it? That's, yeah. So what, new road, new mirrors? Oh, yeah, new road, new mirrors. And we're going to turn uh, right. We're going to turn right. So do you remember why we're checking the centre mirror first? What are we looking for? This is a speed. And the right door mirror? Oh, anybody overtaking. And if there was someone overtaking us? Oh, we'd have to let them go. Why? Uh, because otherwise they'd be alongside me as I made the turn. And That's it, fantastic. You're going to be getting another new car, aren't you? That's it. Just about got this one. Yeah. New, <laughs> new road? New road? New mirrors. Which ones oh. are you checking? Oh, yeah, because that was the right hand turn anyway. Yeah. That's what it is. It's good, you're doing well. Me talk so much, so the words won't come out of my mouth. Doing very well. <laughs> it's the identification is really, really important in phase one. I have to say, I am getting what you're saying slowly about never being in the detail. It's just a case of trying to figure out how much detail you give and what you say. You can give as much detail yeah. as, you, uh, as you like, but there's nobody behind us yet. Providing yeah. this detail that I need, yeah. Yeah, I 
think it's just one of those cases where you say it but forget to elaborate on it so everything needs to be elaborated. Okay, we've got an emerge ahead. Have we? we got an emerge ahead? No, we haven't. We've just got no, that we'll, road no, we'll, look like one. No, we have got a spec service in the high street though. Oh, there you go. I might need to go to one. <laughs> Saying that I did that a couple of hours before my uh, part two. Yeah. I was in there. I just didn't realize, think I'd uh, be able to see the number plate. So, uh, two hours before, I had myself a pair of glasses made, and they did say to me I didn't need them, but I just wanted to cover every angle. You didn't need them. So I didn't even use them anyway afterwards because I didn't even need to. It's a waste of money. Wasn't it? I know. You put them on eBay. Yeah. Should have, shouldn't I? <laughs> I just thought they'd look cool sometimes. Did they? Did they make you look intelligent? Something's got to work, right? Yeah. <laughs> roundabout to the left. Okay, I'd like you to turn left at the roundabout. So, Tony, do you remember how to recognise the merge if we saw one now? Um, I think cars going past, um, sometimes houses. Mm -hmm. um, I've noticed there's a lamppost facing me on a lot of them. Okay. Um, yep. I know sometimes that I, I don't have lines, but then lines appear all of a sudden. Okay. You've got, at emerges, you've got giveaway lines. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. And sometimes you have, um, what's that word I'm looking for? There's uh, an uncontrolled, what was it called? Oh, stop stoplight, you mean? Uh, yeah, there's the stop sign. So sometimes you'll have a octagonal sign that says stop, we must stop at those. It's a big word. I know, but it's not to get in there. So. Um, we must stop at those signs. When we see those, that's, Giveaway is obviously if you need to stop, oh, and, right. but with the stop sign you must stop at that. Oh, okay. um, it's obviously a lot more dangerous, I'm guessing, because your view's probably a lot more restricted, which is why you must stop at those. And there are sometimes ones at, left. at the roundabout like you to turn left. Sometimes they don't have road markings, which means you still treat it like a giveaway. You would still stop more or less unless your view was a lot more clearer. Oh, right. But so I suppose a stop sign would be at an open junction, would it? Uh, a stop sign would most probably be at a closed junction, oh, closed junction. where your views are a lot restricted, oh, a lot more yeah. restricted. Because my review was uh, very restricted at last one, wasn't it? But, but that was only give way. Yeah, uh, your view uh, could be restricted for a number of reasons. They could be restricted because there's hedges. They could be restricted because there might be cars parked. Yeah, there's loads of cars um, parked, wouldn't it? Yeah. So in that case, we what we do is just the way we did last time. I guess this peep and creep. Peep and creep. Yep. Yeah. So what we do is we and we look both left. ways and lucky to turn left. So we're looking as many as a few times as necessary. So if we do need to look a lot more, we're going to make sure it's totally clear oh, right. before we actually enter that road. That correct? I've yeah, just chatted up all of the jargon. There's a lot to look for, isn't there? Um, yeah, there is. We're looking for not only are we looking for cars going past us, bicycles, motorcycles, pedestrians. Yeah, I mean we had two. Yeah, it's very important because pedestrians. We had two ladies pushing buggies there, yeah, didn't we? Yeah. The good thing about pedestrians is they will cross anywhere and oh, everywhere. Right, yeah. It's not necessarily going to be at pedestrian crossings. They will cross wherever they think that they've got a chance to cross. Oh and yeah. And even my, sometimes where they don't think they've got a chance to. Yeah, cross. my instructor said last week. Um, Bob said. Uh, Pedestrians are like the martini I've heard, any time, any place, anywhere. That's it. So this is why we're always going to look as many times But I must as never beckon them. You must never beckon them to cross. Even because, if I know them. Even if you know them. Because by doing that, like I said, that's what we call misplaced courtesy. You're not doing them a favour. What you're doing is, if there was someone coming, turning right at the emerge, um, they might not have known that you've beckoned them across oh, and they might right. run them over. Someone behind you might not realise, they might, you might be going left, they might be going right. While you're beckoning them across, they might just run them off. So it could be my next door neighbour. Could, could be your next door neighbour. And it could be a new flat. And it could be a new flat, really. That's it. Moving to. So like these pedestrians, for example. And we're going to turn right. And we're going to turn right at this mirror. So what you'd like you to do um, is position yourself. What mirrors um, are you What mirrors are you going to check? Oh, middle right. Okay, and just signal. Yep. And, and I'll go down left to centre. Left to centre. And where does that line cut in? Uh, I know there isn't a line, but I just like to oh imagine. Yeah. And Tony, we've just gone a bit over that giveaway line. I haven't, and happened actually, but I could have done. Oh yeah, you could have done. Give me the cover um, break, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Such a short gap. There's so much words to say. Well, you oh, could you actually just prompt on the mirrors and signal just a little bit earlier. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Tony, um, we are at the giveaway line, however, yep. we could have been a little bit over. Yeah, so where does the giveaway um, line go so into the, the car? So where does the giveaway line go into the car? I just need to store mirror, same yep. as it uh, has And why is it important to make sure that we are at the correct position? I know this one. Yep. If I stop over it, yep. I could have made that 
Bradley Wiggle on that bicycle, square yeah. around me, uh -huh. and that could have been a car coming, and he would have had to go ahead and head on yeah, into it. Yeah, and if we were too short of it? Um, I wouldn't be able to see, would I? Uh -huh. And I suppose um, the people behind him probably think I might be parked. And that's it. Now, as you can see, there's no... And if they did think you were parked, Tony? And if Tony, they did think you were parked, Tony? Um, they'd probably go around me, wouldn't they? Yeah. I'm so now, I'm what would happen? happen? <laughs> God. Um, you, you're not here, my story, did you? <laughs> um, oh yeah, if they if they go around me and I start moving to the junction, I don't see them. Yeah. Then we could well hit each other, couldn't we? Yeah, we could do. Um, as you can see, there's no real lines on the floor here, which we're still going to treat it like a giveaway. Oh yeah, I can see where the lines used to be. Yep. Um, so where are you going to look first, on it? Um, left. Yep. And then you can look right first. Oh, sorry, right. Why do you think it's important to look right first? Um, oh, they're the cars nearest to me, aren't they? Yep, and also because that's the direction we're going as well, so we want to know what's going on. I saw on. that pedestrian go past, he's not yep. crossing the road. Yep. Then I look to the left. Yep. And this car's coming, and yep. where else are you going to look? Ahead. You're going to carry on looking. Yeah, look so if right. there was a car coming to the if right, Tony. If there was a car coming to the right, Tony, how do you know whether it was safe to come? Oh, if I can walk across without forcing them yep. to slow, stop, or swerve. And if the car come up to the left, Yep, and if there's a car coming from the I'll left, there's a car behind us now, so we're right. just going to go. And look in the direction oh, yeah, you're going, yeah, why do yeah. you think it's important oh, to look yeah, in the direction you're going? Oh yeah, that's Johnny might be crossing the road. That's it. Oh, oh, what was that, about new roads? And? Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> okay, Tony, so if there was cars parked on the right and the left, uh, do you remember what we do to make sure we make our view a little bit more clearer? That uh, peeping and creeping, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah? And do you know why that's important? Do you remember why that was important? Well, I can't just stick the nose of the car out and hopefully best can That's it. So I've got to lean forward in my seat. Yep. And then creep the car forward. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. So we're still looking for measures and what I want you to do is I want you to tell me when you think you see one. Save me from doing the hard work. Oh, you don't like our work. <laughs> roundabout to right. Okay, I'd like to turn right at the roundabout, please. Could you come and see this little one? New road, Tony? Oh yeah, new mirrors, yeah. Even though I know it wasn't part of the subject, but I just thought I'd say it anyway. Because you could. So, <laughs> we're still looking for that, those emerges. And um, we're going to take the next left. And um, we're going to take the next road on the left. We'll take the second turning to the right. And I'd like you to take the second turn this to the right, the this one. being the first. Uh, what mirrors are you going to check, Tony? What mirrors are you going to check? Uh, middle and right. When are you going to indicate? When are you going to indicate? I'm going to delay it slightly there. But doesn't this fall under kind of just turning right? Sorry, yeah. <laughs> I was just going to say, what are you confusing me for? Is there any more in middle You know me, that's more work for yeah. me. <laughs> so we're going to turn right. I'm going to turn right. I was just testing you there, yeah? Oh, yeah. You know me, when it comes to hard work, I'm on the money where I don't have to do right. it. <laughs> and we're going to turn left. And we're going to turn left. So this falls under an image, doesn't it? Go on and get in there. Okay, Tony, so what mirrors are you can check?